Welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to graph inequalities using a TI-83 or a TI-84 plus graphing calculator. Now, the first thing to do when you want to graph an inequality is you have to get your inequality, your linear inequality, in the proper format. Uh, so when, to do that, you have to write the inequality with the variable all by itself on the left-hand side of the inequality symbol, and all other terms in the inequality are going to be on the right-hand side of the inequality. Uh, what that looks like is this. Uh, in your textbook, uh, section 7.7, .7, problem number 16 on 473, you start out with this equation, 4x minus 2y, or inequality, 4x minus 2y is less than or equal to 8. Now, if this were an equation, this would be called standard form, so I'm going to loosely uh, call it a standard form of an inequality. To graph it, we're not, we can't graph it in this format on the TI graphing calculator. We have to rearrange it so that the variable y is all by itself on the left-hand side of the equation with a coefficient of 1. So I do my algebra tricks and I end up with this inequality uh, in uh, more y equals mx plus b form. Uh, so y is all by itself on the left-hand side with a coefficient of 1. Uh, y is greater than or equal to 2x minus 4. Now that I've rearranged this inequality, I am ready to graph it. So I come on over here to my graphing calculator. The first thing I want to do to make sh is make sure that my graphing calculator window is centered. To do that, I hit this zoom button, top row, middle button. And I'm going to come down and select option 6 for Z standard. Uh, I hit 6. And then the, the screen up here changes to this. It's a graphing window with my xy coordinate plane. Uh, the origin of the coordinate plane is centered in the window. Uh, the positive and negative x-axes and the positive and negative y-axes extend about 10 units in both directions. It's nice and centered. Uh, now I'm ready to graph. I'm ready to enter my equation. To do that, I come back to the top row and I hit the y equals button. This is where I'm going to enter this expression for my inequality. The first step is I'm going to enter the right-hand side of this inequality here in the top line for, for the equation. So I'm going to enter 2x. x, remember, is this alpha row second button over x minus 4. So I've entered that, but remember I'm graphing an inequality. To graph an inequality, you need to move the cursor over here to the far left character of this line. There's a slash mark there. I want to move the cursor over till it gets into that location. I do that by uh, using this arrow button to move the cursor over. Now, notice that this slash line that had been solid before, it's now flashing. That's telling me that that's where the cursor is. Now that the cursor is there, I can change the appearance of what is graphed. Uh, when it's a line, as it has been, it's, it graphs as a line. When I hit the Enter button one time, notice that the flashing line has changed to a flashing thick line. Uh, if I were to graph the, this equation now, it would show up as a, an, a line that is this wider thickness. I'm going to hit the button again. And notice that now the fat line has turned to this flashing triangle in the upper right hand uh, corner of the cursor window. This is the greater than plot. So this changes the meaning of this equation to y is greater than or equal to 2x minus 4. That's what I want to graph because that's what my inequality is. Now to graph. I come to the top row, I hit the far right button, graph, and let's see what this looks like. Ta-da! Notice a couple things. First, there's a boundary line here. This line is equal to y equals 2x minus 4. That's the boundary of this inequality. Uh, looks like the y-intercept is negative 4. 
uh, it has positive slope, as I'd expect from this inequality. The coefficient of the x term is 2. And it looks like it's sloping up every 2 for every 1 that it goes over. So I believe that this is the boundary line for this inequality. Now, the inequality, it's a greater than or equal to inequality. Notice that shaded area is above the line. That is the area that gets shaded when it's a greater than inequality. To check to see if that's right, I can choose a point uh, in this area, choose put the substitute the coordinates of that point back into my original inequality and see if it makes the inequality true. If it does, then I've graphed the right thing. So a nice point to test out is the origin if that's part of your solution area but not on the boundary. So clearly it is and I think in my brain what's 4 times 0 is 0 minus 2 times 0 is 0. The left hand side of this original inequality becomes 0 and 0 is indeed less than or equal to 8. So since my test point works that gives me confidence that I've plotted the correct solution area for my original inequality. So that's how you graph a greater than or equal to inequality. Now I'm going to show you how to graph a uh, less than inequality. So this one I'm going to graph is in your textbook on page 473, section 7.7, .7, problem number 31. The inequality that I'm going to graph is y is less than or equal to negative 2 thirds x. Uh, so I'm going to go through the, sta the same steps. First I want to get my inequality so that y is all by itself on the left hand side of the inequality and the problem came like that so I don't have to do any algebraic rearranging. Now uh, I'm going to hit my zoom window again. Since I didn't zoom in or out it's going to be the same. Z standard. Uh, now I can enter my inequality. So I'm going to uh, move the cursor down to the next row and I'm going to enter negative two-thirds x. So negative, remember the negative sign, uh, you have how you enter that for negative uh, integers or negative numbers is this button, this minus sign in parentheses. That means that's the negative sign. Uh, you have to use that when you enter, when you mean negative. So negative and two-thirds, I'm going to put two-thirds the fraction to divided by 3 in parentheses. I'll multiply that by x. Now I need to, this will graph the line y equals negative 2 thirds x. I want to graph this inequality. y is less than or equal to negative 2 thirds x. So I have to move the cursor over here to the far left character spot in the second line. I cursor over And now I can choose the symbol that this equation or inequality gets graphed with. So I'm going to come down here and hit enter until I get what I want. I don't want the, notice how it's changed to the flashing uh, thick line, don't want that, so I hit enter again. Now it's flashing the upper triangle, upper right hand triangle, which means greater than. In my inequality I'm looking for less than or equal to. So I'm going to move on to the next uh, symbol and see what comes up. So I hit to enter again. Now notice the symbol that's flashing is a triangle in the lower left hand uh, corner of the cursor area. This lower triangle means less than or equal to. That's what I want to graph. Now I want to turn off the next inequality, the, the top inequality. To do that I'm moving my cursor up to the first row and then I move it here to the equal sign. If I hit enter, it will turn off the, the equation or the inequality that's in this first line. So y1, this first inequality is off. y2, with the solid box over the equal sign, is on. Now I'm ready to graph. Now look at this. This is the inequality y is less than or equal to negative two-thirds x. Okay, let's do a reality check. In this inequality, the y-intercept is going to be zero. Clearly my boundary goes through uh, the origin, coordinate zero, zero. 
the slope of the boundary has is negative slope so I expect it to go uh, down as I go from left to right and clearly it does the slope is negative two-thirds so I go down for every two that for every three that I go over so it's not as steep as the last curve uh, and clearly it does that so now this area is the less than or equal to uh, area it's all below the boundary which uh, is what happens in this inequality if I want to be really smart I will check that I've graphed the right area with a test point the point 0 negative 1 is in this solution area so uh, when x is equal to 0 uh, let's see negative 2 thirds times 0 is 0 uh, in my y value is negative 1. Negative 1 is less than or equal to 0. So that tells me I have found the right area here, that I have graphed it correctly. Uh, so there you have it. That's how you graph inequalities uh, using a TI graphing calculator. First thing you got to do, you have to make sure the equation is in this y equals mx plus b form or y is greater than or equal to mx plus b or y is less than or equal to mx plus b. You enter the inequality in the window uh, and then the key to graphing and to make to graph an inequality you have to move the cursor over to the left and then toggle through the different ways that lines can be plotted until you get a greater than which is the upper triangle or a less than which is the lower triangle. If you have any questions about how to use a TI graphing calculator later to graph an inequality, please post them on the discussion board. Thanks for listening and have fun graphing those inequalities. I think graphing calculators make it even more fun. Thanks. Bye.